Donating blood is one of the simplest ways to help out in your local community. There is a constant demand for blood needed for transfusions at many hospitals, and donating blood is an easy process that takes around 15 to 30 minutes of your time from completing any paperwork to completing your donation. People should donate blood due to there being a high demand for blood donations in many locations. According to OneBlood.com's article, What is Blood? Red blood cells represent 40 to 45 percent of your blood volume. They are made in your bone marrow at a rate of 4 to 5 billion per hour. Platelets control bleeding. When a wound occurs, the blood vessel sends out signals and platelets will travel to that location and stop the bleeding by plugging the wound. Very important in blood clotting. Plasma is the liquid portion of your blood. It is made mostly of water, but also contains protein, sugars, hormones, and salts. Plasma is responsible for transporting water and nutrients to your body's tissues. White blood cells are essential for good health and protection against illness and disease. Like red blood cells, they are constantly being generated from your bone marrow. They travel in the bloodstream and attack foreign bodies such as viruses and bacteria. So who is eligible to donate blood? According to Blood Assurance's website, you must be 17 years old, weigh more than 110 pounds, and be in good health. At 16, with parental consent, you may donate blood. Other blood banks might have different requirements, but for my presentation purposes, I'm just going to be referencing Blood Assurance as in the past, I hosted a blood drive through them, so they are very near and dear to me, and they're really good to work with. The different types of blood donation are whole blood, platelets, double red cell, and plasma. Whole blood is the most common type of blood donation. Whole blood is collected and taken to the lab where it's separated into its components. You can donate whole blood every 56 weeks and it takes just about 30 to 45 minutes. Platelets, the blood is taken and it's channeled through a sterile disposable kit that separates the blood into the components. The platelets are taken and the rest of the blood is returned to the donor. You can donate platelets every seven days up to 24 times a year. Double red cell donation uses a special machine similar to the platelet donation machine. Um, it collects two units of blood, red blood cells, instead of one. Platelets and plasma are returned to the donor by a single-use disposable kit, and the donor receives a saline solution for hydration. Requirements for this type of donation are similar to those for whole blood donation, with a slightly higher requirement for height and weight. It takes about 45 minutes, and you can donate once every 112 days. Plasma donation is the longest process of the different blood donations. It takes one to three hours and it's very similar to platelet donation. Um, during your screening process and depending on what kind of donation you want to give, your blood pressure, iron, pulse, and temperature must meet certain requirements for each type of donation. So what is blood transfusion needed for? Blood transfusion is needed for women with complications during pregnancy, patients with severe anemia, patients who have experienced trauma, um, cancer patients, patients who have experienced complications during medical and surgical procedures. So why should you donate? There is a need for regular blood supply. Blood can only be stored for a limited time Regular donations are needed from healthy people to ensure that safe blood will be available whenever it is needed. Your donation can save one life or several lives if it's separated into its various components. According to an article found on NC Live from Ohio University, people who donate regularly and are hypertensive, there is a chance for decreased cardiovascular events due to low blood pressure. According to CNN's Vital Signs segment titled Miracle Blood, Found on NC Live, they discuss this man named James that has earned the title the Golden Arm. James has a rare blood type that is used to make a vaccine that treats rhesus disease. 
Rhesus disease is a disease where a pregnant woman's blood starts attacking her unborn baby's blood cells. James has made 1,101 blood plasma donations, and he is credited to have saved more than 2 million babies. According to giveapint.org, these are the top 10 excuses for not donating blood, as well as responses to the excuses. Um, people are afraid of needles. Many people decide to donate to get over the fear of needles. It should only cause very little, if any, discomfort. They think others are donating enough. 40% of the U.S. population is eligible to donate, yet only 5% actually do. Blood centers nationwide typically run into blood shortages throughout the year. They think their blood type is not in demand. Blood centers often run shortages of type O, A, and B, but shortages of all types occur during the summer and winter holidays. They think their blood is useless due to illnesses they have had. Many health conditions do not prevent people from donating blood, and the deferral criteria for blood donors is constantly changing. So something that may have deferred you in the past might not now. So if you've been turned down before, you might now be eligible. They think they're going to catch a disease if they donate blood. Donating blood is safer today than it has ever been. Blood centers follow five layers of safety protocols. Um, they use careful blood donor eligibility standards. They do individual screening processes laboratory testing of all blood samples, confidential exclusion of all ineligible donations, and donor record checks. During the actual donation process, all donors are given a mini health checkup and asked a series of questions to ensure that they are eligible to donate for the community blood supply. All questions asked during this process are required by the FDA. All equipment used in the blood donation process is sterile and disposable, which means it's only used once. The needle and all related equipment are disposed of in a specially marked biohazard container immediately following the donation. Therefore, there is no chance of contracting AIDS or any other disease by donating blood. Some people think they don't have any blood to spare. Blood makes up about 7% of your body's weight, and the average adult has approximately 2 pints of blood for every 25 pounds of body weight. Your body is constantly manufacturing blood. After your donation, you have to wait a certain amount of days before you can donate again to ensure that your body has completely replenished the blood you have donated. Many people say that they don't think their blood is rich enough. The minimum hematocrit or iron level to donate is 12.5 for females and 13 even for males. If you are deferred for low hemoglobin, your collection specialist can review ways that you can increase your iron. Some people say they don't donate because they're afraid of being turned down. Some deferrals are permanent, but many are just temporary. The deferral criteria for blood donors is constantly changing, so if you were deferred in the past, you might now be eligible. Some people are afraid of donating blood because they are afraid they will feel faint after donating. Immediately after donation, you will be asked to spend a few minutes eating and drinking a snack to replenish some sugars and liquids in your body just to make sure that you're okay after your donation. The most common excuse for not donating blood is they are too busy. If you or your loved ones were in need of a blood transfusion, would you want to hear this excuse? Donating blood is safe, easy, and takes less than an hour. So if I have convinced you, how and where can you donate blood? Many blood banks have a website that you can get on and schedule an appointment. Um, you can also check in your local area to see if there's any blood drives being hosted soon. And sometimes hospitals will um, accept blood donations, but you just have to check. I know for a fact that Blood Assurance has a website where you can schedule an appointment. Blood donation is the most precious gift that anyone can give to another person, as it is the gift of life. The process is simple from start to finish and should only take around 15 to 30 minutes. Locations to donate blood vary, but are easy to find using your Blood Bank of Choices website. You can search local blood drives and take part in one of the most rewarding experiences you will ever be a part of. Everyone should donate blood if they meet the requirements, as it is a relatively simple process and can save many lives.
Thank you all for watching.